Hi guys, so sorry about the late upload. Um, I'm gonna read Human Torch vs. Um, Namor in Marvel Mystery Comics number 8. So Angel's on the cover, but this the, the reason I've been reading these Human Torch and Namor stories is for these two comics, because they're gonna fight in these two comics I'm gonna read. So uh, yeah, let's get started. So there's some like really old ads. British Coronation Collection. Okay. Yeah, there's a bunch of British stuff. Okay. Or oh, there's a signature. Herbert Batham or something. I think that's what it says. Yeah, anyway, anyway. In this issue, Human Torch Story follows the Submariner. So yeah, because it's a because it's a fight between them. Submariner, the Human Torch and the Submariner meet. Revenging himself on humanity for having attempted to electrocute him after he had promised to lend his powers to the to its cause. Namor the Submariner vows to destroy the human race he has already wrecked a ferry boat. Caused an elevator train to crash to the streets and ripped the mooring mast of the Empire State Building when Betty, the policewoman, prevails on him to let up and warns him that the human torch is on his trail. Learning this, Namor returns to his self appointed castle, the Statue of Liberty, to consider. So, they're going to send the torch after me. Let him come. You'll soon learn to respect me. Imbeciles, what shall I do to impress them? I know, just the thing. Namor propels himself swiftly through the bay toward a sub-chaser in the Brooklyn Navy Yard. They should be here. Namor detaches a depth bomb and, one ought to be enough, dives back into the bay with it. Ten minutes later, Namor buries the bomb directly over the Hudson Tunnel. This should be about right. Settling the bomb, he swims rapidly away. The charge goes off, rocking every boat within 200 yards. Let the torch consider that. The rushing waters of the Hudson pour through the hole, blasted by the death charges. The tunnel underneath the river is soon flooded. Now what? As Namor plots further destruction, ambulances rush to the scene of the last disaster. I know the zoo. As Namor heads toward the Bronx Zoo, he's spotted by a plane. A police plane, let it come. These planes will be helpless against a fleet of our aerial subs. Namor rips the propeller off the plane and... Poor fool. Now, Mr. Mayor, let's see if this will make you believe me. So yeah, the, the mayor, as we saw in the last issue, is Floria Lagardia. Who is the real life mayor in New York at that time? At the Bronx Zoo. Namor lands in front of the large lion's cage in the Bronx Zoo. It's a submariner. Bob uh, matchsticks. Help! Oh! Go on, eat out their black hearts. Gorge yourselves. As keepers rush to intercept the hungry beasts, Namor hurls an iron bar at them. No, you don't. Yeah. The whirling bar cuts down the keepers like a scythe cuts down grass, but as Namor gloats, he is unaware of the danger behind them. And stay there. Four hundred pounds of raging fury lands on the back on the submariner's back. Namor hurls the lion from him as he does another charges, but the submariner's mighty fist explodes against the jaw of the snarling beast, killing it. That, is that supposed to, That might be blood. I don't know, anyway. Now for the snake house. In the snake house, crash. As the poisonous reptiles leave their shattered cage, Namor races away. A few minutes later, he arrives at the elephant house. Ah, killer. Danger, do not feed. Just what I'm looking for. Hate gleams in the beast's small eyes as Namor grips the bars. Shut up, you're getting out. 
The elephant trumpets angrily as Namor rips out the thick bars. As the killer crashes out of the cage, Namor snaps the leg irons of a second elephant. A panic is created when the elephants appear. Help, holy Hannah. Oh. Led by the killer, the rampaging herd thunders through the park, destroying everything in its path. In a frightened rush to escape, a nurse stumbles and the baby carriage upsets, throwing the baby out. Directly in the path of the sharding beasts, some mariner sees the helpless infant and his pity is awakened. She's left that poor kid to die. And as some mariner lands in front of the huge killer, straining his mighty muscles, he lifts the giant elephant off the ground and hurls him back at the bewildered hero or herd. Come on, kid. Taking the baby in, the ar in his arms, the submariner leaps through the air and lands on the roof of the medical center. What the? The submariner? Yes, but I mean no harm. This kid needs someone to look after him. He couldn't be as bad as they say. Bah, stupid idiots. You'll see. Flying through the air, submariner sees the George Washington Bridge. What's that? Ha, another man-made monument, Will. Some mariner lands on the pedestrian walk of the bridge. They won't think so much of it when I get through. Bracing himself, he pits his mighty strength against a huge upright, and the upright cat crashes. Suddenly, a blazing figure sails through the air and, crash, lands on the bridge, the human torch. As the torch lands on the bridge, Submariner picks up a steel girder and hurls at him. How's this, Submariner? It's melting. Bah, I'll fix you, hot stuff. The human torch laughs and let, lets loose a sheet of flame. Maybe. The flame wraps itself around Submariner. What the? Namor ignores it as water pours from his body. Woo. But the heat's too great even for him. As the torch follows, some mariner races to the side of the bridge and come back water rat and fight it out. Leaps. As the torch hurls balls of fire at him. That torch will be tough to lick, but you'll live to come up sometime, and when you do, I'll be back. Attention, do you want a surprise? Read The Human Torch now. The Human Torch by Carl Burgos. The Human Torch, now a member of the police department, has been detained or detailed to capture the submariner who is carrying out his vow to destroy the city. It's the torch. She's after the submariner. I've been sailing around like this for hours and no sign of the submariner. Maybe this police car has reports on that lunatic. Pull up. It's the torch. Any news on that waterman, Jeff? Nope. He must have disappeared for a while. Thank goodness. The torch subdues his flame. Can we drop you off anywhere, Torch? Yes, headquarters. Later. It's you, Torch. Where's the Submariner? He's vanished, sir. Your orders were to bring him in. Maybe you're scared. Are you trying to insult me? I ought to. Before you hit me, remember. You're a policeman and I'm your superior officer. Now let go. Chief, the Submariner is at it again. He just tore down the elevated. In a flash, the Torch turns on his flame and flies through the wall. So, he's on the loose again. Hot-tempered lad. He'll be a worthy opponent for the Submariner. Well, Frank, what are you staring at? Get the mason and have him mend that wall. And call out the riot squad. Yes, sir. Meanwhile, there's a wreck. Blast it. That water bug is getting me mad. Now to fix this mess. First, I better straighten out those pillars. With a leap, the torch crashes into the twisted pillars, his body just hot enough to heat the steel, so it will bend to the desired shape. This is the last one. Leaping to the tracks, the torch soldiers, the broken tracks as the elevated workers watch a one-man reconstruction job. Get the derrick ready, hot to haul up those cars. The wheels are bent. A little heat in their straight simple. And that's that. Hey, Torch, a dame down there wants to see you. Huh? Anything to oblige a lady, me fine bucko. 
uh, the torch uh, slams and subdues the flame. It's you, Betty, the Submariner's only friend. Yes, I want a word with you, please. Now, Betty, what's on your mind? The Submariner. You know, Torch, he isn't as half bad as you'd think, but he's mighty dang dangerous when he when aroused. Listen, Be Betty, that water beetle has done enough damage. Besides, my orders are to bring him in, and that's what I'm going to do. You're a fool. Attention, all police cars. The Submariner was just seen atop the Empire State Building. Get him. Listen. Now, I'll, I'll get on that guy. Stop it, Betty. I can't. We're caught in a traffic jam. Blast it. Whoa, here goes. The torch turns on his flame and leaps through the top of Betty's car. Tor torch, the car's burning. What'll it do? Hold tight. I'll take care of it. In midair, the torch completes a backflip. With lightning speed, shoots down straight at Betty's auto. Heavens, he's going to crash into me. What's he trying to do? Almost on top of the car, the torch sweeps into the air again, with the flames following him, their master. Well, that was close. I even felt the heat from his body. Betty looked kind of scared, but the fire is out. Now for some mariner. As Torch nears the Empire State Building, he spots a submariner hurtling the mooring mast to the crowded street below. Panic follows as the huge steel top crashes to the ground. Gosh almighty, some people are trapped under it. How can we help them? Wait, look, it's the Torch. He's heading for the mast. The Torch lands on top of the mast and, uh, and lets his super hot body cut through the steel. Just a little more heat and I'll free those people pinned under this. Later, the torch subdues his flame and helps carry the mangled bodies from under the mast. Get, on, get after the Submariner, Torch. We'll take care of these people. The torch turns on his flame and leaps into the air. Right. The torch, lighter than air, body sweeps or zooms up swiftly to the top of the Empire State Building. The Submariner's gone. He must have fled right after hurtling that mast. Wonder where he went. What's this I see? Animals running loose. Where do they come from? There's only one answer. The zoo. It's my guess it's more, some more of the Submariner's work. Playful, cause the Submariner. But I'll meet him I'll, up with him sooner or later. Right now I've got to get those animals back in their cages. Like a blazing comet, the torch lands in the center of the rampaging animals. With angry growls, the animals retreat from the blazing man. Suddenly, a tiger leaps at a guard. Help! How do you like that, heat tiger? He broke loose. They're bullseye. That's one killer less. Right, and now to get the others inside their cages. The torch raises his arm and moves it in a circle. Instantly, a ring of hot flames traps the other beasts. A sharp order from the torch in the flaming circle begins to move. Will all be. The, flaming, the hot flames separate the growing beasts and force them into their respective cages. But how are we going to keep the animals in their cells while the bars are ripped out? Ha! Ah, come on, I'll show you. See? I hold the bars in my hands and let the steel drip. Just enough to solder on the bottom part. Incredible. Yet I've seen it with my own eyes. By the way, how are these bars ripped out? The torch then subdues his flame. The Submariner paid us a visit. I see. Have you any idea where he went? No, none. Look out. The gorilla. It's going to jump. Before the torch can move, the huge beast lands on top of him and with a sweep of his arms, lifts the day's torch over his head. In the next moment, the gorilla sends the torch flying toward a big brick wall. Half-conscious, the torch senses danger and turns on his flame split seconds before he hits the wall. Lucky I turned on my flame. The wall would have crushed me. Blazes, he's going to dash the guards. Head on the pavement. This will stop that ape. Just as I thought, he let go of the guard. Boy, look at that baby jump. The gorilla, maddened by the torch's balls of fire, um, scrambles on the, to the side of the building in an effort to escape. Oh no you don't, big boy. That finishes him. 
Torch, Betty, what's up? The Submariner, he's rescuing the George Washington Bridge. This time you won't get away from me. Later. There's that water rat. Well, well, at last we meet, a eh, firebug? As the torch lands on the bridge, a steel girder greets him. Ha, ah, how's this, Submariner? It's melting, bah, I'll fix you hot stuff. The torch laughs and lets loose a sheet of flame. Maybe. That wraps around the Submariner. Namor ignores it as the sprinkler system starts to work. But the heat's too great. Woo, that torch will be tough to lick, but... I can't follow you there, but you'll have to come up sometime, and when you do, I'll be back. The Battle of the Comic er, comic Century. Fire vs. Water, a fight to the finish. Read about the most famous fight in action picture magazines, the meaning of these su super characters. The Human Torch and the Submariner. 22 pages of sizzling action. Watch for the next issue of your favorite magazine, Marvel Comics. So yeah, that's the end of that issue. Um, hope you guys enjoy this video. Again, sorry that it came out so late. Um, but yeah, if you guys could like, comment, or subscribe, that would be appreciated. Thank you. And I'll uh, see you guys later.